and good morning wherever you are in the art world. Uh, tonight, thank you for us to another inspiring art talk. We are uh, in Zurich uh, with, with the 32 uh, Biennale Internazionale dell'Antiquariato di Firenze. And uh, as uh, Fabrizio Moretti well said, a museum for sale. Uh, he will guide us uh, through the most important international art uh, world fair for ancient Italian art by enlightening through uh, its vision and history with some extraordinary art experts. Alessandra Di Castro, buonasera, oh, oh, buonasera. Bruno Butticelli, and oh, Carlo. Hi. Grazie, grazie, and thank you so much for being with us tonight. So I, I would like to uh, introduce Fabrizio. Fabrizio Moretti is a member of the Associazione Antiquaria d'Italia and of course he's been appointed as the Secretary General uh, of the Biennale dell'Antiquariato for the fourth uh, year. But as, a, as I already mentioned to Fabrizio, we should just do an hour talk only for all the wonderful uh, inspiring project that you already did. But we're gonna do another hour talk another time. Fabrizio, welcome, how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much for this kind invitation and for the time you want to spend with the Biennale today. Thank you. So the Biennale is every, every two years, but as you, as you well said, again, I have to paraphrase your wonderful worlds. We manage, you manage to create uh, the Art Week, which is not only the week of Firenze, of Florence, but of Italy and of the world. So actually, I did not manage, you know, I'm the chairman of the Benal, but I have a very strong committee around me. Uh, the friends Bruno Botticelli, Alessandra Di Castro and Carlo Orsi, top art dealers, but they are part of this committee. So if the fair is a success, it's because there is a team of people that believe in it. A group of great exhibitors that come from every part of the world to show their masterpieces in Florence. And uh, this is not the fair only of Florence. We have decided with the mayor of Florence to create an art week and go in partnership with the major institutions of Florence. Palazzo Strozzi, Museo del Novecento, and all the galleries are open because we want this fair not only to be the fair for the dealers, the fair for the city and for Italy. It's quite important to underline that the fair in Florence brings a lot of tourists, but a good tourist, and everybody is happy and uh, everybody's doing business. You know, let's cross the fingers, but uh, we are very happy for the moment. Wonderful, wonderful. So you, you, it started last week. So we, it's almost, uh, we are almost at the end, but you, you, you will have up to the Sunday, the fair. How many galleries uh, were there? Uh, I think 75? No, there are more than 80 galleries at the fair, exhibitors coming from every part of the world. And as we said before, when, when we was talking, we have a lot of visits from uh, uh, curators and directors. This year we have uh, a major partnership with Uffizi Gallery that uh, made uh, several acquisitions at the fair. And tomorrow in the press conference, uh, the director, Eike Schmidt, uh, will uh, reveal to everybody wh which are the acquisitions he made at the fair. This it makes you understand uh, the quality, the museum quality of the fair, where the Uffizi come to do shopping. This is not the first time that they do that. They came also in 2019 and 2017, like other major other institutions. For example, a dealer stopped me yesterday and said that in 2019, he had a Maiolica plate that uh, was at the fair. And after six months, he was able to sell it to the Museum du Louvre of Paris. Wonderful, wonderful. It's, uh, these are really, uh, again, wonderful insights uh, that make us understand the, the importance to do these fairs. Now, 32 years of edition. Tutti dicevano questa penale, invece la pandemia alla fine ci ha rallentato di un anno, ma ci ha dato la forza. Siamo riusciti a creare la settimana dell'arte, che non è solo la settimana di Firenze, è la settimana dell'Italia, del mondo, c'è un pubblico stra internazionale. Can you tell us a bit the, the story, um, if you can say briefly about the penale? The Biennale, was the Biennale was founded in 1959 by the Bellini brothers, two major art dealers in Florence uh, in the 60s, and they have invented, for the first time, the modern art market. 
what it means. They have decided to put inside the box, that box was Palazzo Strozzi at that time, like 100 dealers. For the first time, you don't go anymore to see a gallery. You go in a building and you see 100 dealers in one go. So Italians, and I feel very Italian, I'm Italian also, if my mother is English, we have invented the modern art market. They have tried to copy us, you know, in, uh, in Switzerland, where you are, in Holland, in France. But anyway, we are here with the Benal, and nobody can steal from us the, the first idea. Fantastic. I'm, I'm very proud of this, <laughs> being in Italian too. But uh, that's, uh, that's in, in the vision. So what, what uh, Fabrizio, you're going to do um, every time there is a Biennale, there is a, a curatorial uh, program that you are, of course, trying to, to do. It's not only an art market fair, it's a, a moment of uh, intellectual debate. You know, there are many art historians, so we do presentation of books. And it's quite important to underline how important is the trade for the scholarship. We, we finance many monographs, we help people in university. So it's a moment of, uh, of partnership between the market and the art historians. And it's a fantastic moment in Florence, especially in the Biennale, where every day there is a symposium on something. directors and the, uh, the, the curators coming to see you. Anything that happened that you can uh, tell us about the atmosphere? Oh, the atmosphere in Florence, it's a very fun atmosphere because, you know, the difference between Florence and other fairs that you are in one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So when you go out from the Benal, that remember, it is in one of the most palaces in the world. Palazzo Corsini, that also is a dream. But you go out in Florence and you've got museums, you've got restaurants, and you've got the best hotels in the world. So this is Florence. We selling an experience to our customers. I was reading uh, that today, actually, you had the prize for, for different prizes, uh, thanks to the sponsorship of Ronald Lauder, exactly. uh, who uh, awarded support and allowed the restoration uh, of decorative art works. Do you, do you have the, the, the premi for the prize for decorative or design arts? No, we have, every year we have sponsors. We have, uh, in this case, uh, we thanks a lot, Mr. Ronald Loder, Mr. Ugo Pirucci that back the prices. That's only an excuse for us to get some funds for restore paintings or sculptures in Florence. But uh, to discuss the prices, I will love uh, to, pass, uh, to pass this to my dear friend, Alessandra Di Castro. So I thank uh, Fabrizio, our Secretary General, for organizing every two years this uh, extraordinary prize. As he said, this is the uh, opportunity for the Biennale to sponsor important restorations in public museums. And uh, this year, the, the prize for the most important painting was uh, awarded uh, to a dealer friend, uh, to Voena di Robiland. And the painting that received this, the prize was uh, a masterpiece by Niccolò Tornioli, Il Banchetto di Assalone, a spectacular painting uh, 
two meters long uh, that you can see in the next days hanging in the, in the, in the stand of, uh, of Marco Voena and, and the Robiland. And the, the Lauder Prize for the decorative arts this year was awarded to two dealers from Milan, Marco and Augusto Brun, Brun Fine Art is the name of the company. And we are seeing here two spectacular uh, gilt uh, frames. They are Genoese Baroque, they were attributed to B B Parodi. And they enclose two micro sculptures in wood uh, by an artist from Modena. If you see them in the, in, in the real, in, they, they are really incredible. They are masterpieces of virtuoso work uh, that are, of course, uh, uh, typical of this Baroque uh, uh, passion for, for the extraordinary, for the virtuoso work. And then for the last uh, award, I want, I, I want my friend Bruno Botticelli to speak about it because he is the one who received the, the prize this year. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Alexandra. Uh, yeah, the prize this year was to me. That's the first time I'm happy because I deal with sculpture all my life. So it's not the prize only to the sculpture, but I feel to a prize to my career, like an antique dealers. By the way, the sculpture is a fantastic uh, sculpture, very different from the Baroque uh, in Taglio, very simple, but uh, with an exceptional thing. It's in stone painted, it's something very rare. And uh, it goes, is a San Sebastian, and it goes with another sculpture by the same artist, uh, Pietro Lombardo. And both originally were attributed to a great artist of the Italian Renaissance called Mantegna. They're painted and in perfect condition. Che meraviglia. You know, it's a... Uh... You know, San Sebastian is a beautiful subject, uh, beloved in the world, is a young boy dreaming in somehow also if, uh, if you have uh, the body uh, full of arrow, it seems there is in this static moment, is a strange thing, uh, is a different from the others. It's lifestyle. It's a lifestyle saint, yeah. Life size. Wow. Bellissimo, bellissimo. Of course, we yeah. wish we'd be, we would be there watching so, it. Carolina, during the, during the vetting, it's interesting <coughs> to see this uh, extraordinary art historians who come from all over the world. You know, just uh, the, looking at all the objects and looking for this the masterpiece of the year, and all the dealers' friends are competing to get this award. Oh, yes. So this is uh, this is very challenging, and it's uh, it's it's encouraging uh, for us to bring uh, every year new objects and previously seen, and this is one of the strength of our Biennale, I believe. I have to say something because uh, three of us we followed the vetting, but at the time that they decide the prize, we went on the terrace. We weren't there, so we didn't influence them with our object, obviously, but not at all. Fantastic. But you know, it's beautiful to see this friendship, this uh, respect for each other, and this, you know, as you said, this competition, and uh, that's that's all about Vite d'Antiquari that I saw also in your panel, one of your panels, uh, which I, I, I yes, <laughs> I love it. I love the title because it really explains, and maybe you can explain, uh, each of you, what does it mean to be you know, part of, uh, of, of, of this world. Look, number one, I think the title is reminiscent of Vasari. We are in Florence, so of course it is, it's, it's, it's a quote. But then it's the, during the lockdown, we decided, I mean, being the part of the Antique Dealers Association to go back to, to what we are, to, to what dealers are, to what, they, what our passion is about, what our life is about. And also we wanted to know better each one of us, especially the dealers who live in the most remote places of Italy, uh, but they, the, the remote in geographically, but not culturally. As you know, Italy is, is, is not just the main capitals, uh, Milano, Bologna, Firenze, Roma, Napoli, but it's about uh, amazing centers uh, for culture and the arts. So the, thanks uh, to the passion of Walter Pad Padovani, our secretary general, and, our, and the journalists of the Gazzetta Antiquaria, 
we decided to reach out to these dealers and interview them and ask about how they started, what their passion is about, why, what, what was the most important discovery they made in the, in, the, in the life of an antique dealer. And these lives are extraordinary. They are full of uh, interesting stories. Of, uh, of They're really incredible. So I, I really encourage, they're very short, they, they, it, they, but they're really interesting. They're fascinating. Ooh, you're beaten as well you, from your your uh, personal experience. Yeah. If we know one one few, I would love to I would love to hear. Yeah, I start with this. This uh, uh, Alexandra, uh, she's the past president. She was the president of the Italian Association Antique Dealers before me, and we were all sick, part of us at home. And Alessandra wake up uh, us every morning with a telephone calls on her project. And she was like a guide for us. And uh, in this time, uh, grow the ideas by Alessandra and everybody law to do this book. That is a beautiful book. And what I have to say that my life uh, has been an extraordinary life because of meeting a lot of lovers of the same thing that share my same love with no jealousy or with jealousy that don't have or have. But uh, the antique dealers, the real antique dealers, they're different from the rest of the dealers of the world because they want to keep everybody, want to keep the best piece for, his, for himself. But uh, always you cannot. You have to sell your family, whatever other catastrophe. And so... But uh, you met people exceptionally in love with what they do. Bello. Bello. And this is, a, this is the, the most beautiful part, the passion. The passion. And when you do something that you love, you know, you, that's it. That's the most beautiful part. Can I tell you? Sorry, no. Can I tell you one thing more yes. about passion and, and uh, love and et cetera? So what we are really, we are detectives. We are researching works of art, paintings, everything that we like and we discover. This is a very important part of our business. Uh, and, and the fair is the example of what we done because many dealers show uh, new objects, new paintings, something new like uh, San Sebastian, which was not absolutely known, or other paintings, as uh, Alessandra has a very important paintings in, his, in her stand, recently discovered, even me. So we are detective. And uh, the differences between me and my friend Bruno has that I like to find nice and important things but I don't want to keep. For me, it's enough the discovery. After that, I'm easy. Uh, I'm an easy person, so I like to sell everything to uh, collect all lo lovers. So it, that that's the most important thing for me. Mark sixty-nine. You want to share with us? I want to share. Yes, yes. I like the discovery. The comments. I don't want to keep <laughs> for me. Art uh, need, need, need to travel. Could I ask you from the from the from with the with the Brexit? What happened? Uh, was it more difficult, uh, you know, for Italy for the Italian side to sell and to and to buy in Italy? Is uh, how how is? Uh, no Brexit doesn't make any sense for us, except if you work, I mean, with England or you are working from England to Italy. Uh, bureaucracy has changed a lot. It's much more difficult to send everything abroad. And that's the reason because they are out of the European community. So mm -hmm. for us, yes, it's changed something, but we are dealing with in Europe. so. It's not exactly a big game for us. No, no. I have a gallery. I have a gallery yes. like in uh, in England, and this is a big problem for us uh, doing our business from England to Europe. 
Yes, that's uh, that's uh, what what I meant. I think it's uh, it's always uh, which is a pity because you know. It is it is because London is still the center of the art world, and yes. everybody comes there. But now uh, many many galleries move to Paris because if you are in Europe, you have to stay in Europe. Yes, yes. Do you think uh, Firenze will become the new <laughs> the new? Firenze uh, is the uh, the art of the world. This is where the Renaissance was born. So, as as to come back in a way. Yeah. No problem. No problem. The Biennale, it's unique, and uh, and you should come to see the Biennale because even now is in a wonderful uh, old palazzo in front of the Arno River from the Prince Corsini fully decorated uh, so it's a fantastic place it's a it's a, like it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a casket you know oh, precious precious box and i love you know that the fact that it became as a, as a fabrizio said like a, a, an art week it, 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 it was an art week opened with an ex a fantastic gala dinner with fireworks on the River Arno with all our guests, our, our clients and friends. Uh, uh, came, they came very elegant to honor our opening and it was a real feast. Eh, Fabrizio, wasn't it fabulous? It was like going, you know, just really it, it was a, an, an amazing party a feast for the antiques uh, and for the people to come back and celebrate the arts uh, in, in person all together uh, for us it was a dream So we were trying to reaffirm uh, the, the beauty, the glamour, the glamour, the, the history. It was all, uh, all uh, an exceptional event for, for Firenze, said, for the world. And the gala the dinner, Fabrizio, the gala dinner, the opening with, uh, with the people coming from all over the world and the fireworks uh, on the River Arno, which was a beautiful event where everyone, everybody wanted to participate. And, we, and it was like you know, going in the old times with parties and, uh, and uh, around the, the, art, the works of art. Fabrizio can say that we have many more requests the, of how many tables we have. Everybody wants to join the party. And I have to say another thing, that's a different from, uh, on my experience, from all other fair. Because the, uh, the fair, Every fair, this master, masterpiece, or whatever master, they start with a normal opening. And uh, it's a place where you go, especially for work. We go for work, but we want also to join the experience of art together. Not only work, but also be happy. But uh, thank you. I is uh, you know through your words, I I was uh, just uh, imagining uh, this wonderful scene. Of course, I saw some pictures uh, through your social media, uh, which uh, which are fantastic. So um, 
the, the in, in the other um, highlight that you want to give Fabrizio uh, for the next uh, the next days if somebody comes over or uh, you know tomorrow for example hosted by Ernest and Young and they will talk about metaverso and it's quite important this because it's a new reality of our world and afterwards at 6 30 6 30 exactly we will have a, a talk by myself and uh, Margarita Soleino Phillips, uh, an uh, important English collector who lives in Florence, rule of artist woman in art, from Artis Artemisia Gentileschi to Cecily Brown. So every day there is something in Florence. Uh, and then the weekend, we're going to expect a lot of crowd, a lot of public. And uh, as everybody, and I'm very grateful to all my colleagues to be so complimentary with the fair, but uh, it was a success. Uh, it was uh, for the Galadina, 800 people sitting down. And we had uh, the luck this year to do a partnership with the Gucci Garden and uh, that hosted the dinner with the famous chef Bottura. Bottura is today one of the most important chefs in the world. And we want to sell a dream of, um, you say, of made in Italy and uh, of the best that you can wish to have from the art to the food. Bellissimo. So from food, art and fashion, a bit, a bit, you have everything. <laughs> Bellissimo. Exactly. Fantastico. And Fabrizio, one, one more thing I would like to ask, maybe highlight, uh, ask also your, your wonderful team, because it's a teamwork what you have created there. And it's so beautiful to feel this, this uh, again, passion, but also this, uh, this uh, friendship between all of you, which is through all of this with the, with the contemporary world, uh, the technology, because you also uh, touched uh, one of your panels about technology, how can can support the process of transforming culture and art? If you know, this, this is a very difficult question. You know, I'm 45 years old and I think I'm too old to understand what's going on. But Metamerso, NFT, they are a reality. We have seen in the major auction houses, top prices for artists of NFT. And uh, there is a market, there is for sure also speculation. But regarding the Metaverso, I think that it will be an alternative for the future. Mm -hmm. I am an old fashioned man, like who my colleagues are sitting on the table. And I'm sure that they believe to touch a work of art. They believe to make love with a work of art, what I say. And Metaverso, unfortunately, cannot give you this. But yeah. it's the future. The new generation uh, totally projected in that direction. And we need to accept it, live with it, and especially understand it. Yes, yes, I, I agree. But I, I think with the... Uh... With Bruno, we had an inter also a very interesting conversation the other time. Bruno, would you like to add any anything else? About that, about what I, what I said about my song and his game? Yes. Well, yes. Uh, I, I, I thought, I don't remember exactly if I said these, but this is also very interesting. My song used to play any, I make sure, it could be longer, but. He's 10 years old and he's doing, he was 10 years old, and he's doing a game on, on the net. And he asked me to buy something and say, well, I don't want to pay for a figure that don't exist in reality, that is only in the screen. Uh, and when there is no light and no, and no internet, you don't have the, the present. The present disappeared. And my son, that was 10 years old at the time, told me, well, you're right. If there is no light more than one day, there is a war. If there is, inter there is no internet for more than two days, the end of the war. And well, the last little game that you gave me are in plastic and now we don't know how to recycle. So it's better to invest uh, in internet. But I have to say that the little soldier, the little figure that I gave like present before, that he started to play with internet to my son were ugly. We sell beautiful things that cannot be doubled. I say something more that uh, I have a friend, uh, a, a daughter of my friends helping me at the booth. And she's the first time that she gadget in the world of art. And today she do other things, I don't know, communication, something like that in the university, modern works. 
she told me, Bruno, but I have a touch, a sculpture for the first time in my life. It's completely different from the museum. You want to have them. So that's what we do. We give the perspective and we give the possibility to touch and to understand that it is possible to own a masterpiece, to desire, to desire a masterpiece. And well, with the metaverse, that's not possible. You cannot touch. Yes. Yes, I, I agree with you. We, we I are- I hope that I was, uh, my English is simple and it's a complicated concept, sorry. No, you, you explained it perfectly. Thank you, thank you. It's actually beautiful what you said about your son. And so that's why I, I wanted to mention. Uh, thank you again. And so, uh, but any, um, what are your next steps? Uh, if we can ask uh, from, from uh, uh, Alessandra to, to Carlo, any, any new uh, exhibition that you're gonna do after this? So you're gonna another, after the Biennale? So we, uh, there is Flashback in Torino, which is uh, an interesting fair uh, that combines antiques and contemporary. Um, and then, uh, and then there, are, there is the international calendar. We all have galleries here, so in a way, I would recommend uh, the people who are now listening to us after the Biennale to come and visit us to our galleries. This is always very important. We can ex we can express ourselves with a few objects here at the fair. Obviously, objects that people can watch, can touch, can look at talking about them with us. But then the most important thing is to come and visit us in our galleries, and uh, which are not so intimidating at the end. We are nice people. We want to talk to people. We are very happy to inform and to communicate. And that's also what art and dealing with art is about. Fantastic. Questo è bellissimo, questo messaggio. Very, very, very true. And uh, yes, we will definitely come and visit. As I said, I'm, I'm already booking myself. Unfortunately, not hopefully for the Biennale, if I, if I manage, but for next, next uh, in October. So I would love to see you. And uh, also our art talks. I, I, any, anything, uh, Fabrizio, what are you, you're, you're going to do something else? You're going to be in, in Firenze? No, actually, I don't live in Florence. So on Saturday, I'm leaving the fair because uh, it's ended. That would be very sad because when the Benal finishes, a dream is finishing, but uh, this is life. So we were going to work straight away for the next edition in 2024, trying to make it better and try to make it uh, a dream like we were able to make it this year. I'm going to London because, as you know, in October, there is freeze. Freeze Masters is another event. And as Alessandra said, the most important thing for being a gallery is to work uh, from our gallery and we invite everybody to come to see us. But what I would like to say, I think this is the end of our talk, I would like to invite all the public to come to Florence for the last weekend and don't lose this magnificent art fair. You will never be disappointed. Perfetto, grazie. Thank you so much. I Piazza di Spagna e da sempre colleziono, compro eh, oggetti un po' speciali, oggetti curiosi. Eh, il mio lavoro consiste nel fare anche delle scoperte, trovare eh, oggetti inediti e riportarli alla luce della storia dell'arte. Naturalmente non sono una specialista, mi occupo di pittura, di scultura, eh, di arti decorative attraverso le epoche dal Cinquecento alla fine dell'Ottocento. Da me si possono trovare oggetti molto particolari, molto speciali e cerco sempre di rinnovare l'esposizione con delle novità. Siamo soci e amici ed è stata fondata da nostro padre e nostra madre nel 1960. Ha partecipato alla Biennale che allora si chiamava Mostra di Palazzo Strozzi fino dalle prime edizioni 
ed è una galleria che è specializzata in scultura e mobili del rinascimento. Ci riteniamo leader nel nostro settore e siamo altamente specializzati. Nostro padre era anche un pittore, infatti nella galleria non abbiamo mai trattato, se non raramente, dipinti antichi per non metterli in competizione con i dipinti di nostro padre. La BIAF è un momento di incontro dei galleristi italiani ed è indubbiamente la mostra d'antiquariato e d'arte forse in qualche modo più importante per quanto riguarda l'arte italiana. Well, my best regards and hopefully to meet you very soon and I thank you very much for it was an honor to meet you all. Thank you Carolina, thank I'm you sure. very much. Thank you. Grazie and uh, have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful Goodbye. Thank you from Salon. I would just like to ask any of the uh, the our audience if, and I know already who is going to ask question, <laughs> David, uh, to our Good wonderful night. gallery. <laughs> And uh, yes, hello, David. How are you? I'm fine. How are you today, Carolina? Are you in a closet somewhere in Zurich? Yes, unfortunately, I. <laughs> it I was like a, a locker room. <laughs> in a contemporary locker room, uh, very, <laughs> very minimalist. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm here hiding myself. So, but David. I have one more question about antiques in general. Yes. Uh, I'm of the opinion that in the future we will still have the same antiques. There are no new antiques. Uh, do you know what I mean? Uh, the world today, the world today doesn't fix quality, I don't think. So I wonder in a hundred years what will people think of? What will they collect then, you know? <laughs> what, we, what we use now. <laughs> After 100, 100 years will be antique. <laughs> Difficult. Sure. Yes, for that's sure. Fine. Yes. If we still remain in the ideas of own staff, generally, mm. we yeah. still will collect antiques in the same way. If yeah. we will change like human beings, <coughs> and we are not, we are going not to be more interested in own physical stuff. We will see. Mm. So but that's right. matrix, as you know. And, and now we collect mm. sneakers. <laughs> After 100 here, we'll be sneakers. Uh, mm, sneakers. <laughs> yes, I mean, I mean, I'm this. Uh, I know, plastic. I don't think things that are made cheaply will ever be collectible, though, you know. Could be. The things in the past were made with such quality, so that doesn't happen now. That's right, yeah. that's right, yes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, David. It's always so. My antique. Yeah. Yes, antiques. Yes, I love that. So thank you. So it, so it's a wonderful. Um, as we were saying before, um, opposite attracts. We are in a very contemporary fair today in Zurich with one uh, very established and uh, antique, one of the most beautiful uh, antique fair, Genali in Firenze. So uh, please bear with me for the sounds, I don't know, in the background. Voi mi sentite bene comunque? Benissimo. Okay. Buonasera Fabrizio. Buona giornata, abbiamo dato due premi e quindi è stato un giorno insomma, settimanale della Biennale, senza, senza né arte né parte. Insomma. <ride> no, non è vero Fabrizio, oggi ci sono passati qualche direttore del museo, yeah. dei musei, anzi è passato... La, è passata la direttrice dell'Accademia, che è stata credo anche da te, e che comunque ha fatto un acquisto, quindi non si sa mai. Non si sa mai. No. Da chi l'ha fatto si può dire, è un segreto. Si, si può dire, se, nel senso che adesso non è ancora ufficiale, però l'ha fatto da me. <ride> ah, vabbè. Meglio avere gli amici ricchi e felici che poveri arrabbiati. 
Echo. That's that's for sure. That's for sure. But we we're gonna start, I think, and then we'll get everybody. So everybody will will understand what we said. Uh, I think David speaks perfectly Italian, and everybody else. But they are they are. <coughs> so anybody who would like to to be here, because I think everybody wanted to leave. I Maria, I will uh, give you a, a glimpse where I am. If you if you don't mind a bit of uh, of uh, but I will let anybody who has to leave to go. Grazie veramente Bruno, Alessandra, e Carlo, e Fabrizio it's been a pleasure. With, with us. I know you are so, so, such a incredible days. So really, it was an honor. Grazie. Thank you, Carolina. The antique dealers love to talk about antiques. Okay. It's like uh, the people that love foods. They we, they love to talk about foods. And of course, you know, we, we could have, looking at your pieces, you know, we could have uh, talked and talked for more and more, but we will come and see you yeah, live. To do physically, a physically talk, that's better. And come to the Biennale yeah, before a Sunday, any time. Yes. Thank you, I will, thank you. I will try my best. And otherwise see you in freeze. Ciao. Ciao, ciao, bye-bye. Bye, arrivederci, bye. So, for whoever is is there and stays there, I will uh, I will bring you a bit uh, during the art salone, which I already did an Instagram before. So you can come with me, and uh, I will just take my charger and wait one second. So again, we are in the art salone. It's actually the first contemporary. Um, fair in Zurich, so they tried to do a little uh, something a little bit like Art Basel, but a home home in Zurich for art collectors and international collectors, very contemporary. So we will go and see uh, my umbrella. You you can see that because it's been pouring like crazy, and I was stuck here for the traffic. So you need three hands, Carolina. Do you have three hands? <laughs> you need three hands. I have two. I do. <laughs> so, let me, let me, uh, okay, now they are going to see, they're going to, okay. Okay, so we are here, wait, I'll, I'll try to. Oh. oh, you're there, really. So I'm here. So I was behind Galleria Fotografia, Galleria Space. Hello. Nice to see you. And we are here. And of course, we meet the director Hi. of one of the founder that was the, I from the art. Sorry, you are now in another Zoom, another with the Zoom. Biennale with all my art talk community. Hi. So, can you say a bit where we are? Um, yeah, we're uh, currently uh, at Art Salon in Zurich. Um, this is a new fair for, uh, for Zurich. Um, yeah, we figured, I'm from Basel, but we figured Zurich uh, uh, needs an art fair, uh, a new art fair, uh, uh, a decent art fair, so that's why we're here tonight. Uh, this is the opening. Um, we have uh, 1,700 square meters, so it's, you know, it's quite small. However, it's, it's a good size. Uh, 30 international galleries, and I think we had a full house tonight, so uh, I'm excited to hear. It's incredible, okay. but I, I just want to say thank you for hosting me. For I, I got stuck with the traffic, so I had to oh, no. hide in your... So you went, yeah, I saw you the other day. Is she a member of the team yet? Maybe I, I, I will. I yeah, will. I am. Actually. I am already back. You are. Okay, we're on No, exactly. So that's what we do. We're open until Sunday. Yes. Um, every day from 12 to 8 in Zurich Altstädt. Until Altstädt. Until Sunday, yeah? Until Sunday, yeah. It's a very cool venue. This used to be it it is incredible. It's a cool venue. Yeah. yeah. So it's quite it, a cool venue. It yes. used to be uh, for training. Like train racks, yeah. so basically, yeah, it, it's remodeled. The yeah. fact that so we found this and figured this is a great location. But you know, from the people and the audience that are here, it's it's, it, it's a good buzz. I like it. You, know, you never know how it is, you know. But I think everybody so uh, appreciates that we can go out without masks. You know, yes, there is war, but everybody wants to go out. You know, we've been we've been dealing with too many things online. You know, yes. so I think it's great to be that's, out in the that's, field. That's us now. Wait, let me let me show. Ah, oh, no, we can't see it each other, wait. Okay, 
That's us now live. Yeah, it's live, which is nice. <laughs> okay. Which is very nice. So, so no, thank you so much. Thank you for I taking time. And uh, and I'm sorry again, I was uh, no, 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 in your... No, 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 no. I know each other. You're Yes, it's me, Carolina. Hi, how are you? We, we're on Zoom uh, live, but I, I will come back. Uh, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, I'll, 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 come, I'll come back. I'll come back. No, I don't. I don't take. Okay, I'll take your shoes. Okay. <laughs> so here, uh, I don't know if you can see. Okay, we are going very, very, very contemporary here, ragazzi. So now we we have some more. It's it's a, it's incredible. So you see here, it must be very, very in because everybody, it's a, the place to be. I don't know if there is a the artist will take. A, so I took what? Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. I think it's the place to be today. Sorry, we you are live on a Zoom, but uh, it's it's amazing. It uh, looks. I can see because everybody is here. So can can you tell us a bit about your your gallery? Oh, okay. This is so I'm representing Stefan Vici Gallery. Yes, we share the booth with Sam Sherman. And um, we have now five artists here. We have uh, Junjin Lee, that's our trophy artist from Korea, uh -huh. uh, which is uh, also represented by Paul Greenberg in New York. And we have two beautiful pieces uh, uh, from the series Voices. Oh, wow. And Can we, we have uh, Mona? So here you have. Uh, and we have Mona Tui from uh, LA. Okay. Uh, Brazilian. Wow. Little Los Angeles and okay. famous for her nude pictures. Oh, wow. uh, so she works with architecture, frames, and bodies. Like a piece of abstraction. Like a piece of a. Not a Missouri. Um, this is uh, Sophie Almey, mm. who has a architect, but also artist, and has some uh, sculptural works in the public. Yeah. And here, that's our latest. So I I took this is you? No, this is my part uh, the other ah, part. Okay. So I need to uh... thank you. So yeah, I no. thank you so much. Yes, I will <laughs> thank you. So we're gonna walk a bit more so you can see. I don't know if you can see it. So from uh, this is all the Zurich scene. Maria, a little bit, not not as, as yours, but uh, something oh, that reminds, yeah. reminds you. Oh, one, and as, as I said, it's a first edition, but it is uh, quite interesting. And also furry animals are accepted, which is beautiful. <laughs> okay. So. I will uh, come back to you. I hope you like this uh, crazy uh, moment of the art talks. And it's so nice to see you there. And uh, anyway, it, it, was quite, it, was, it was quite interesting to hear a different world of art uh, that we are used and we, are, we have seen until now. And uh, more to simpatico, I have to say. So I wish you a wonderful weekend. 
maybe we will uh, we will meet very soon uh, in uh, some different parts. Uh, keep keep going, Carolina. I, I, I am. <laughs> I was anyway just between you because I think we, it's only us. I was stuck, so I, I could never arrive to my destination. So I had to find the best place to do to do the art talk. Anyway, <laughs> so it's still perfect. Uh, you see, we have to do what we have to do. <laughs> yes, it's live. Always going forward. Always going forward. Yes. Life is full of surprises. But again, I'm very happy for you, David. 